Being Sick on the Internet, presented by the Student Society for Science-Based Medicine. Once upon a time, when you got sick, seeing a doctor could be a challenge. Sometimes it was better to do nothing than actually get treatment. But now, when you or your loved ones get sick, finding helpful, high-quality medical information is only a click away. However, dangerous, factually incorrect, misleading, and harmful advice could be even closer. How do you know what sources to trust? Contradictions can pop up with any internet search. How can carrots both cure and cause cancer? Also, the internet might not be the best place to get your health questions answered. For example, if you wonder why your stomach is hurting, this question can be answered by anyone. Even Becca. No offense, Becca. But I don't think you're a trained medical professional. Being sick on the internet doesn't have to make you sick. Just follow these three simple rules. Rule one, go to a trusted website. These websites are approved by major health organizations, and they're designed to help the general public. For example, healthfinder.gov. You can search medical questions there and find quality, helpful information. Medline Plus is also another website that can be very helpful. And also the Mayo Clinic. These are just three websites that can help you find answers to health questions that you have. And they're by no means the only ones. If you're wondering whether or not you found a high quality source of information, just head over to the public library and ask the research librarian there. Rule number two, don't get carried away. It can be stressful when you're ill and finding bad advice on the internet can make it even worse. Minor problems can look serious, and it's easy to get stressed out if you're not sure. There's scary and confusing information out there. So go to rule number three, ask your doctor. Your doctor is trained to answer any questions you have about your health and help you get the relief that you need. Don't panic. Good information is out there, and being sick on the internet doesn't have to make you sick.